But this is really the, the largest partnership we've ever done with the Folk Life program. A celebration of Virginia Folk Life, a program sponsored by the Library of Virginia. Greg Kimball is the library's director of public services and outreach. Folk culture or folkways are really just the things that people create in their communities, whether that's dance or food or um, music. A meshing of the old and new and keeping these traditions alive in communities. It's an important collaboration with the Virginia Folk Life Program. Because they have a program where they have an apprenticeship. So you have a master artist who teaches somebody in that community to do the craft that they do. So there's all kinds of different uh, crafts and other things that people are doing. Uh, music is probably one of the ones that we know the most about. The celebration kicked off Friday evening with more to come this weekend. Saturday is more of an open event where we're going to have people, you can make a simple one-stringed instrument. Uh, we're going to, you can make a poster, so some kids' activities. Like an instrument petting zoo for the young and the young at heart. I'm going to bring in a lots of different instruments, and it's really a way for uh, kids or adults to find out about different folk instruments, everything from ukuleles to banjos to guitars to the accordion. Talk a little bit about where these instruments come from and also try them out. You know, I think one of the things in our culture is we absorb culture a lot, but we often don't participate in it. And I think a lot of what this is about is to get people to participate, to learn to play instruments and contribute to that folk culture that still exists. There are performances that begs participation, including a banjo fiddle duo, the Richmond Shape Note traditional sacred singing, and Cadencia, which I'm very excited about. Uh, this is uh, Afro-Caribbean music from Puerto Rico, although it's a Richmond-based band, and it's very exciting. They, they play a, style, a couple styles called bomba and plena music. The Celebration of Virginia Folk Life event is a part of the library's 200th anniversary, celebrating traditions in the state's oldest institution dedicated to the preservation of Virginia's history and culture. And one thing people, a lot of people don't know is that we also have free parking under the building is very important in downtown Richmond. <laughs> and the celebration of Virginia folk life continues on Saturday here at the Library of Virginia. To get a list of performers, visit our website. That's WTVR.com. Antoinette Essa at the Library of Virginia, CBS 6 News.